what are the absolute truths of human experience which can be experienced through meditation as we all know meditation can give a rise to various psychological experiences some experiences can seem to be higher or subtler than the previous experience therefore people tend to rate their experience as this state being higher or better than the previous state but let me tell you one thing there's no such thing as one person's superconscious or meditative experience being better than another person's every human being is unique like his own genetic code or his fingerprint or some other characteristic which is only unique to that person similarly your meditation experiences are unique to you to that particular person who has experienced it so the meditative experience for me it can be a simple experience like a state of relaxation or silence or even joy and that state can be the most satisfying state for me or the most equilibrium state where i feel balanced psychologically and that might even be enough for me to live my entire life with my daily practices for another person he might experience different experiences but that does not mean that i have a high experience nor does that person have a high experience it's a personalized thing it's your experience only you know if it's rightfully satisfying to you or not let us again look at the question what is the absolute states of experiences i can share my experience with you that is when i go into a state of relaxation i see mental images then i watch those images keep on watching them observing them observing them while observing my state of observation as an observer becomes so strong that the other mental thoughts or images running around or ideas running around pictures visualizations running around all dissolve into pitch black darkness or emptiness because when you close your eyes you only see pitch black black darkness and if you're constant, constantly trying to visualize light then you're trying to create images so once you try not to visualize light all your mental images will settle down into pitch black darkness now many religious folklore will tell you darkness is bad or evil well it's not so the darkness which you see with the eyes closed is the absolute state of silence the universe itself is of dark matter pitch black darkness the darkness when it compresses that is the force the compressor universe is a compressive force of dark matter its energy energy is not light light is only one form of energy energy in its absolute state is pitch black pure dark matter it is darkness 
Then the next question. Does energy come out of empty space? Or does it go back into empty space? It's a logical thought. Energy can only transform from one state to another. It cannot come out of empty space or go into empty space. Energy is ever-present. It is transforming from one state to another in an ever-existent state. It expands and it contracts, but it never goes out of existence. So all those impermanence theories can be doubted. Energy is not impermanent. Energy is transformational. Energy is transformationally it's eternal because it's transforming. It never goes into space nor comes out of space. It only exists within space. It's up to you. Just logically think about it. And space and vacuum or space never exists. Now when you say vacuum, when you suck air out of it, just call it vacuum. But empty space... There's no part in the universe which exists as empty space. It's always filled with energy. There cannot be a start or end to the universe. If they, stay, if they say there's a start or end or a, a point where it ends, then what is beyond that point? Still it's energy. It's an infinity quantum of energy. That's what we are. So that is the absolute. The absolute is not empty space. The absolute is energy in its absolute state. That is energy beyond the atom, beyond the beyond matter. Energy beyond waves. Energy exists as a compressive stock force from which all other vibrations of energy arise, which again forms into atoms, molecules, vice versa, matter, life forms, it goes on. Then again it dissolves back into that energy and it goes on, it's a cycle. That is a cycle. So, it's a very interesting subject. And again, it's up to that individual who wants to perceive it as they want to perceive it. It's how they see it how they visualize or how they understand it because the science of energy is beyond the average human mind's comprehension. It's a mere understanding and logic which we tend to understand. That does not mean you know more than another person or another person most knows more than you. That can be anyone, any enlightened master or any person who calls him the incarnation son of God or messiah of God or enlightened one whoever you they might call them would have called themselves or still might be calling themselves in the present age nobody knows better than another person it's up to that individual to know and understand just by following people and doing some marketing for certain people that doesn't make you in any way understand these matters. You have to investigate and you have to understand. You have to understand the way which you want to adjust and live your life with. That is, that, that understanding should not affect your lifestyle because you have to live that biological life, that evolutionary life. You have to have a family, you have to have married, you have to have sex, you have to eat good food, you have to stay healthy. You have to have kids, you know. You have to live that life. That is the evolutionary life which you're programmed to live. Once you go away from that, trying to renounce the world, give up that, give up this, it's no use. End of the day, you come to point one again. But just following people will not give you any sort of real realization into the truths. You have to be brave enough and stand out of that social norms and circles to understand these matters. And you don't have to go preaching to the world or you don't need to gather large audiences or people don't have to come and bow down to you or call you or worship you. 
saying that you realized, to understand that you realized. As long as you understand and you know it, you know that you realized. Society around you does not have to come and praise you and tell you that you realized. Realization is for you. It's for you to know. So, let us all practice and try to understand these absolute states of energy which can unlock a lot of answers to the questions which you might have of life, existence, birth, evolution, you name it. It all the answers lie within understanding that energy. So, practice hard and practice smart. It's not difficult. It'll take time, but with time, you'll understand the universe you live in much better. <laughs>